Well friends, here we sit at the end of another crazy year that's been absolutely chock full of twists and turns from start to finish, and that does not exclude the real estate market. It's been bananas. And I know I probably sound like a broken record there because I probably said something very similar at the end of last year and the year before, but we are in some odd times here and they just seem to keep on rolling. But this year's actually been different in a lot of good ways, so I wanted to break down what exactly that means for you all, especially those that are thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate in 2023. So let's dive right into it. 5.48%. That's the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate over the last 20 years, and yes, that includes those lower rates that we saw in early 2020 to early 2022. This is a chart showing those interest rate levels over the last 20 years, and obviously we have been on an upward trend here in 2022 as we now sit at about 6.78% for an average 30-year fixed mortgage. I say that just to paint the picture of reality. We're coming out of rock-bottom interest rates that were put in place to prop up the economy during a pandemic, and I think that makes this whole thing more shocking than it actually is whenever you see rates jump up 3.5 points in a short time frame. As you can see, rates are generally at the same percentage now as the average since 2002. Now this is probably one of the more prominent real estate topic headlines that you've been seeing week after week in 2022, and it has actually slowed down the real estate market a bit as more buyers are sitting on the sidelines waiting for more favorable interest rates to roll around, and they will. Many economists and specialists in the industry, including myself, believe that time will be sometime next year. They've actually come down a bit in the last month or so, but I would anticipate a drop into the high 5% range sometime around spring or summer, hopefully. We've got to remember, the Fed is raising rates specifically to slow inflation down, and the housing market is one area where prices have certainly been surging. So interest rates will likely hover generally around the levels that they are currently during the colder winter months, but I anticipate when they start getting back down into the low sixes and the high 5% range, the floodgate of buyers on the sidelines will open back up, things will be restored to a little bit more of a seller's market, and things will start to get more competitive once again on the buying end. Now with that being said, one of the biggest questions by far that I've been getting over the last six months is, Sam, is now still a good time to buy? Well, check this out. So this is just a chart showing the exact same house for sale at $400,000 in two different buying scenarios. Now six months ago or so, you may have locked in a 4.5% interest rate. These days it's closer to 6.5%, but the big difference is that six months ago you'd likely be bidding over asking price and taking on all inspection and repair costs yourself, which puts yourself in a bit of a hole, which as you can see is similar to buying the same house right now at 6.5% interest from a monthly payment standpoint. So as you can see, the monthly payments are about the same here, only difference is there's more negotiation power now than six months ago and you likely could secure a better deal. So to answer that question, yes, I do think it's a good time to buy. It's more of a buyer's market than it was earlier this year. You can negotiate better terms, and when rates do go back down, you can always refinance your rate, which will lower your monthly payment. So when you look at the whole picture, I do actually think that it's a better time to buy now if you're able to than waiting for rates to go back down because I think the competition is gonna get a lot more stiff when that does happen. 9.8%. Based on a cumulative average across all sold homes in the Louisville area since November of last year, home values are actually up 9.8% since November of 2021. So despite all the headlines, the Louisville real estate market has actually remained very steady this year and is actually still trending in the right direction. And this is in large part due to the demand far outseeding the supply of homes for sale. Even though many buyers want to wait for lower interest rates, the inventory dropped as well as more sellers decided to wait to sell their homes. So is it a good time to sell? It's not as good a time as it was last year, and if you can, it may bring a higher price if you wait until rates start dropping. Because like I said, when they do, I think the floodgates are going to reopen. But things are still moving for solid prices in the right direction if you are considering selling sooner. Now in closing everyone, and similar to last year, I'd like to highlight a neighborhood that I'm excited about that I think may be worth you keeping your eye on if you're thinking about buying a home for yourself to live in or as an investment property. Uh, this neighborhood and zip code has been growing like a weed. I have reason to believe that it'll continue to grow like a weed. Let's hear it for the 40213 zip code everyone. Now I've been saying this for a while now, but in my opinion the Camp Taylor section of the 40213 pushing over across I-264 into Poplar Hills is red hot right now. That zip code as a whole has grown 14.5% over the last 12 months, which is a good 5% higher than Louisville as a whole. And when you zero in on those sections of the zip specifically, you really see higher growth than that, closer to the 20% mark. And that's in a down year. I think being so conveniently located in neighboring Audubon Park and being a stone's throw from Germantown and Joe Creason Park is a huge plus. And there you have it everybody, 2022 is almost in the rear view. I can't believe we're saying that already. This year has gone by so fast, uh, but hopefully this brought a little bit of clarity on what's going on in the real estate market. Um, it's a lot to keep up with, but I think everything's gonna work out just fine. I hope everybody has a great round of holidays, enjoys themselves. I hope to see everybody in the new year. 
Um, and if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate in 2023, I would love to be your realtor and help you facilitate that process. Um, I'll always just be a call away. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. My number is 502-500-6469, and I'll talk to everybody soon. See ya.